Okay, the animation is cool so far. I'm zoomed way in. Let me show you what I got so far. All right, the letters come in, learning computers the fun way, and the fish swims across, but I've got some problems. Um, you know, he swims, that's fine. He flips, that's good. No, whoop, he flips a little too late in the animation. I could probably change that if I wanted to. But then watch what happens. He ends here, and then the thing starts over. So I want to fix that. So here, I'm at the end of my animation, okay? This is the end, right? Ends right here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a keyframe here at 325, F6, and then I'll put the playhead at the end, right? The playhead at the end, and then I'm going to drag him off stage, okay? Beautiful. Now, I'm also going to curve this animation so that it happens nicely. So let's see what happens here. Oh, no, that didn't work. That did not work. Something did not go right. So I'm going to control Z to get rid of that. All right. So it ends right there. Now, over here, well, at some point, at some point I want to curve that so that it doesn't end up kind of like a straight action there. How about if I do this? There we go. Somehow he jumps back when I do that, and I'm not digging on that. So I'm just going to not going to deal with that right now. That's fine. I'll just leave it like that. All I know is that he goes off stage, right? I need the bottom two layers to stay on screen. So I hit F5. And then what I'm going to do is I want everything to stay the same and not start over for a while. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll scroll way over here, let's say, and I'll just put some bottom frames, F5, so that the bottom animation, let me zoom out, will stay the same. So now, Learning Computers the Fun Way will stay on screen for a while. So now when I play the movie, Learning Computers the Fun Way, then the fish swims across, right? We'll see how it's going to end now. It's going to be a nicer way to end the animation without an abrupt ending. So he swims across, and now he's going to swim off screen. and then everything will stay the same way for a while and then eventually it will start over again. There we go. Then it starts over again. But that's a much nicer way of ending the animation. I've still got lots of problems in how to control the pacing of the um, motion tween. Um, you know, make sure the thing's flowing and I don't have any jumps or skips and it's just extremely hard for me to do that right now because I'm just brand new to this whole motion tweening thing. So you can see that in my path I've got little jumps and skips and all kinds of stuff and well I'm just gonna have to live with that for a while because um, you know I just don't quite know what I'm doing yet. But um, after a while it'll become much easier. You can see here look at all this problems that I just create for myself right like that. So control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z and just say okay whatever. Gotta figure that out later. But anyway um, when you've got that finished, you have your movie finished. So now I'll hit File, Save As. I'm going to save this one as Example 3. Save, and then Control-Enter to make my movie. And I've got a banner that I can put up on the website.